I'm going to put a quick 5x7 card together. Um, I have a ton of mats because I got way too carried away. But I like how they look, so I'm not changing it. I'm using this sticker set from Dollar Tree. I pulled this sticker and this sticker, backed both of them on um, cardstock. I didn't like these little places here where it kind of stuck out, so I just cut that flush. The reason why I do these where I'm using stickers is to just show people who are new that you do not have to have a whole bunch of stamps and you don't have to spend a ton of money to make a really cute card because I'm using both of these on the front. Like I said, I back them on the same cardstock that I'm using as my card base. And this one I cut flush. Then this one I just used my one and a half inch punch. Circle punch. Jeez. My base, like I just said, is a five by seven. And the way to get it is cut it 7 inches by 10 inches and score it at 5. Then on the inside, I did 3 mats. I wanted to do the same floral paper on the in inside that I'm using on the outside. And I wanted more of it to show because there's plenty of space for me to write my sentiment if I want to or my um, message, I guess, if you will. But I cut this one and the other one at four and seven eighths by six and seven eighths. I rounded two of the corners on my card base and all four corners on all of my mats. Then on the other two mats that I did for the inside, this one's cut at four and a half by five and a half, and then this one's cut at four and a quarter by five and an eighth and those go on the inside. Then on the outside, I cut the same yellow. It's four and a half by six and a half, I believe, yes. And then the next one is three and seven eighths by five and a quarter. And then the next one is three and five eighths by five. And then we have, we all together on top have six mats. I know, ridiculous. This one is three and a half by four and three quarter. And finally, this one is three and five eighths by four and a half. I'm not using any stamps this time. I got out four different baker's twines or twine, whatever, because I didn't know which color I wanted to use. This green is different from that green, so I may eliminate that one. This blue will match okay. I've already used it with one of these. The purple will match okay because there's two or three different shades of purple, which is why I didn't mind doing this. And then the yellow works really well. So I probably use the purple, the blue, and the yellow. I'm just using this, um, it's like a tearing tape or a score tape. It's an easy to tear two-sided tape that I got on the Wish app, actually, and it was a dollar, when I got it, I think it was a dollar for two rolls, or a dollar a, a dollar per roll, maybe, probably a dollar per roll, I can't imagine it being 50 cents a roll, I'm not pulling that up, I'll tear it up if I pull it up. So let's don't do that. I was talking with one of my YouTube friends the other day, and we were talking about, you know, how, how trends change and how, um, you see someone who is showing like a super sweet persona on most of their videos and so people believe that they're a really nice person and really sweet and all of that and then you watch like their daily vlogs and the truth kind of comes out where they're not 
quite the person that they were pretending to be, I guess. I, and you know, I don't know, and this is what I said to her, I said, I don't know that that's entirely true, because we all have bad days, you know. We all have them. And that's, you know, that's normal. What's abnormal is the way people react to something that they dislike or um, that they don't agree with. So we were just kind of talking about that. And I said, you know, I noticed that I have noticed that some people try to act like they know more than they actually know. Um, but we were talking about, you know, whether or, or which one of them, like if... If I did like a craft video and I was super nice on my craft video and I was always upbeat and all of that because the thing about YouTubers is, especially those of us that actually do some editing, any one of us could, um, hmm, how do I want to word this, could display whatever they want people to believe or you know you won't see the bad side if they don't want you to kind of thing that's what we we were discussing and I said you know <clears throat> I'm not the only one that does a, a lot of editing I do a lot of editing because I talk too much just because my videos get super long because I talk too much if I came on one day and was all bubbly and all positive and then I came on the next day and I was griping and complaining and carrying on and then I was on and I was bubbly again if I did that all the time a lot of people could assume a lot of things you know what I mean and I I don't think that people should assume, which is, you know, what I said to my friend is, we're all susceptible to having bad days. You know, nobody is better than anyone else, in my opinion, and no one is more entitled than someone else, just based on whether or not they're a a model or a youtuber or an actor or a singer or you know it just makes people different it doesn't make one better than the other and, you know I'm the same person on here that I am in life you know I have good days I have bad days but I try not to um, Put my bad days on somebody else. You know what I mean? Getting out this um, duck brand two-sided tape because it's much stronger. And I'm gonna put it on here to go over the this Baker's twine since I'm doing three of them. We should be more loving, more caring, more tolerant of others who maybe don't think the same way we do and maybe don't feel the same way we do it doesn't make them bad it just makes them different and there is absolutely nothing wrong with, with people being different from us you know God made us different for a reason I'm going to let this bow stay off to the kind of cockeyed like that Cause I kind of like it. Keep your hands from sh from fraying. Tie them in a knot. You know, nobody's perfect, but that's what also what makes it us wonderful is that none of us are perfect. God didn't create us to be perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna have to stick it down like that. 
if I peel it up, it's going to ruin it. Put that guy up there. See how there's nothing in the center of these? I think I'm going to get a teeny tiny. If I have one that small. There's a purple one. Alright, I also noticed that the center of this flower could use a bling. Come on. I think that turned out kind of cute. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I appreciate it. Thanks for spending a little time with me. I certainly appreciate it. Also, hope you have a great day and a glorious tomorrow. Bye, guys.